what is up guys so after the last video there are some requests for me to do a twitter bot in python on reddit and on the youtube comments for the last video thanks so much for the request so today i'm going to be making a twitter bot and showing you how to link up to your twitter dev portal and then deploying with wayscript and showing you how to call whatever apis you're going to be calling to get your information and make your first tweet so i actually hate two-part videos but i want to make a twitter bot that could not only tweet when I wanted to tweet, but also reply to people's tweets. And then because of everything that's been going on right now, I wanted to make a uh, COVID-19 ask robot. So you can ask the robot questions, it'll tell you answers. So what I was thinking in this first video, we can just try to tweet like daily updates on the current situation. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a bot that'll actually reply in real time to people's questions. So cool, let's get to it. So head over to developer.twitter.com slash apps and create an app. It's really easy to make an app. You just put in your app name, description, and then explain how it's gonna be used. And then when it's done, you're going to get your app ID and then keys and tokens, which will be right here. And we'll talk more about how we're gonna use those keys and tokens in the next video. But right now we have what we need from the Twitter API. So just to give you a background on the Twitter API, it has three main functions. It has a get request, it has post requests, and it has stream requests. So a get would be if you want to get tweet information, information from tweets with certain hashtags. We're going to use the post request mostly in this video because we're going to be posting tweets regarding daily updates on COVID-19. And then in the next video, when we talk about a Twitter bot that can respond to tweets, we're going to be using the stream request. So now that we have everything set up with the Twitter API, just head over to uh, Wayscript. It's super easy to set up an account. You just sign in with your GitHub and then you just click create new script. I'm going to say Twitter bot uh, YouTube. So it's going to make this script. And then now I just need to make a workflow because I want to be tweeting daily regarding coronavirus updates. I'm going to make a time trigger. And then I want to code something in Python that can get information and write a tweet about coronavirus. And then because I want to maybe get information from a lot of countries, I want to put in a loop here so that I can loop over all my information. And then for each uh, Twitter update I get, or for each country's information, I'd want to post an update on that country with the Twitter bot. So now that I have that workflow set up, I can connect my account I'm just gonna make sure I have this added. I just click authorize access. It'll go over to Twitter because I have my dev account set up. It'll just let me authorize and it'll go back to Wayscript. So cool, now all we need to do, well, we need to set up the loop, but let's write the Python. So something interesting about Wayscript is they put everything in a dictionary to use in the future. So I'm gonna wanna put my return tweets in this dictionary variables. So I guess I'm going to call this def get COVID info. And then I'll say for a country. And then if name equals main, uh, main country equals US get COVID info. So let's just talk through what we're going to need to get this COVID info. So first, I'm going to be leveraging this API from trackcorona.live. This is a site made by people at my college. It's a really strong API. It has a lot of really great information. So we're going to be using the country's API. And at each country's ID, so for US, they'll have a post. So we're going to be using a get request. So our steps are going to be step one, get COVID-19 info from API. Step two, turn this into a tweet. Step three, put this in the variables dictionary so that we can use it later. So right now I'm gonna implement these steps and then I'll be right back. Sweet, so just to quickly walk you through what I coded, um, I implemented this step with a 
call API method to call my track corona.live API. Uh, in my API, in my call API method, I just imported URL lib.request, imported request URL open and JSON so that I can decode the JSON after I read it. Uh, when you're working with web frameworks, and this is an important point, sometimes if it's a certain web framework, in this case it's Django, they're going to want you to authenticate as a user. So when you're making requests, you're going to want to put in a header so it makes you look like you're a user. So I'm going to return this JSON. So now I have all the JSON I need. And if you look, uh, data at index zero is the information we need. So I'm passing in data at index zero to my info to tweet. And then I just use the dot format operator for my info to tweet function. I put in info at all the important things into my write string, and then I return that string. And then at the end, I'm just going to append this. So I actually changed this, so I'm not running one country. I'm running as many countries as I want. So I can say for country and countries, append all the country's information to the tweet. And then now that this is done, I can click done editing. And then I can set up this loop so I can say, now that I have my tweets uh, list, I can say for tweet item in tweets, I want to tweet. So I have account three stored. I want to post a Twitter status. So this is us using the post operator, or not the post operator, but the post part of the API. And I want to use for each tweet item in tweet, I want to post. So now I just need to turn on my trigger and we're all set. So I want to post daily at, I'll just do it at 2.50 and then I'll show you guys the tweets after the video. The time trigger is on and that's everything. So I hope that made sense, guys. Uh, that was an awesome first video. If you have any questions about the code, I'm going to put it on my GitHub. The link's going to be below. And then if you want to learn not only how to make a Twitter bot who replies on a time trigger daily with Wayscript, but also make a Twitter bot that can reply to people's questions in real time, watch the next video for more. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.